Here we go. I've already healed up everybody and we're ready to go. Now, I have killed this thing twice. So I'm gonna hope I don't I don't, I don't kill it now. Because if I kill it now, I'm gonna pull my hair out and throw my Nintendo across the across the room. Because this thing really should not be giving you that much trouble to catch. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hope to freeze it with I'm, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna ice beam it to death, but it's gonna start off with War of Time. So once I get it down to the to the red, I'm going to continue recording after that. So you don't have to see all this. The weakening process, because it really is boring. Okay, so after Dawn uses her ice cream, I'm gonna just not even try to record it afterwards. Okay, this should be enough to catch it, but I'm not for sure. Um, I'm just gonna keep throwing the Pokeballs at it. And if I don't catch it in about five or so Pokeballs, then I'll just switch to the Ultra Balls, because I'm not gonna sit here and try, try to fight this thing for 110 years, okay? And it just, it, it really annoys me because it always uses Roar of Time. And it's just sitting there wasting its Roar of Times. It could be doing something else. But Dawn lives by four hit points. So I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm not going to heal Dawn this turn. I'm going to heal him, heal her next turn and progress from there. Okay, I'm taking this turn to heal up Dawn because... She is like getting ready to die. So I really desperately need to heal her in case there's another roar of time in that thing's arsenal. It's got five roar of times, and it can just in anything after it runs out of roar of times, I should be okay. But it, yeah, it's used three of them so far, so I've got two more roar of times to deal with before this thing ends up running out. So Okay, so that did over half. But the good thing is, it gives me two. It, it, it gives me one turn to catch a poke, to throw a pokeball at it, and try to catch it. Then it gives me one other turn to heal, which is really nice. And it's just not going. It's just not going to get caught. It's not going to get get caught with with the pokeball. So I'm gonna. I'm going to throw an ultra ball at it and hope to catch it. Sorry guys, I I, I tried to use po a pokeball, but it's super skarmory. It just makes it look so easy catching pokeball. All right, I caught it. Point. Uh, annoying idiot brother doesn't know how to be quiet. Um, now I don't want to nickname it. Okay, so you've just caught Dialga, the legendary Pokemon. And I'm gonna tell you about about Palkia now. Palkia is Water Dragon, also on level 47, and it knows Water Pulse, um, Dragon Claw. Ancient Power and its big one, Spatial Ren, which is really more of a pain than Roar of Time, to be honest with you. But if you go back here, you might have seen this in the big old action scene. It's the Adamant Orb. And if you're playing Pearl, per per you'll get a Lustrous Orb. And that boosts the power of Dialga or Palkia's attacks. Dialga is a very good legendary to have if you're planning on beating the game. But... If you're just looking for a good legendary, he's pretty decent. But you don't have to have him to beat the game. So don't let that get into your head that you have to have Dialga in order to beat the game. So let's go ch let's go take a look at this Dialga. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly on over to um, the actual city of Hearthome, Hearthome City. And let's check out our newly caught Dialga. Okay, so let's just go in here. There he is, our, our legendary Pokemon at Dialga. Steel Dragon. Uh, it's Brave Nature, which I think boosts its attack and lowers its speed. I'm not for sure on the nature thing. I'll have to look, look it up for you. It's not very fast, but it's got a really good defense, and it's got really good special attack, as well. Roar of Time is doing so much to, to Dawn. Um, yeah. So there's Dialga for you. so, yeah. Anyway, that's it, guys, and, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm, sure you, I'm gonna show you guys our, our trainer card. And then if you go on the bottom screen, you can see all the gym leaders. And if you touch this, you'll see your badges. 
And you can shine your badges if you wanted to. I'll go in like this. But you really don't have to. That's just something random I thought I'd show in the video. Anyway, uh... That date on that's wrong. It's That's the date I had my, uh... DS set on. So... Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Um... That's all I have to show, and um, let's go ahead and with, let's get rid of that HM slave. Yuck, we don't need him. Uh, where's my Rose Raid? Oh, there it is. There she is. Let's get rid of the Bee Barrel. We don't really need him. And that wraps up this part of my Pokemon Diamond and Pearl walkthroughs. Thank you guys for watching.